Here we are, tiny town. Encourage biking. I would like to do that. Um, does that cost money? Wait, I don't see... Is this a district-only policy, not a citywide policy, maybe? Well, we can give that a try. Sure, here's our residential area. Policies. I don't see it. I don't see encouraged biking. Hmm. Well, I wonder if that's a bug. Like, maybe this only actually unlocks once you um, unlock bike lanes, maybe? It's plausible. Oh, yeah, time to plop down that elementary school. And I could also slap down the high school once I have enough money. But again, I might just let that coast a little bit. Um, so this is a custom asset. I thought that... Oh, no, I did disable my custom assets. I disabled my mods. Yeah, this uh, Biergarten is one of the most popular ones on the workshop, and it has an absolutely enormous... I mean, you can see... <laughs> radius of effect. So it's basically cheating to use this, but I will use it anyway. Uh, where do I want to stick you, though? Maybe I'll stick you on the roundabout. Maybe over here, though. So then we can see the effect it has. Yeah, it just basically paints the map. Nice, solid cyan. Um, speaking of cyan, there's a big demand for commercial. So I think we'll make this a commercial district. Let me... Uh, get this road. We will connect those. Which will make a light here now. It did not used to have a light. Does this direction have... No, this direction for some reason does not seem to have a light. So cars can just drive wherever they want. Apparently. Alright, and there's actually not that much more space we could even fill in. But there's some... Maybe I'll do that, and then... Oops, start here. Actually, it's probably faster to just paint it in a irregular shape like this. And then I can use the um, paint bucket tool to remove um, zoning from here, where I don't want it. Oh, there's no pipes uh, for some of this, yeah. Oh, and a little bit right there, too. There, now everything's covered. We're probably running out of electricity. E yes, just about. But we haven't yet, so maybe I'll just hold off um, for another half a day or whatever. Mm, that's holding steady. It's holding steady. I can't wait to dam up this river. Alright, that's far enough. So there's our new wind turbine. Yeah, this is a little far away for our um, firefighters to respond to. So let's see how traffic's doing. So the roundabout is doing okay. It's getting a little bit orangey, but um, that appears to only be because of volume of traffic, not because cars are actually waiting for a long time. Here, though, cars do have some wait time. Of course, the cars on the four-lane road have priority over the cars on the two-lane road. Um, it, which is as it should be. There's more traffic coming from the four-lane road. Yeah, that's working. That's working. I mean, it's getting kind of red. Actually, you know what I could do to severely um, relieve that traffic is... Oh, wait, I have a school there now. Um, This, maybe. Well, that'll break some stuff. But that's okay. Uh, let's do that. Let's grab commercial with the paint bucket tool. Paint all that commercial. Um, this can be a little bit of residential right next to the school. 
All right, so now hopefully that'll take some of the pressure off at this intersection. Yeah, so some of the cars should just come straight down to the roundabout rather than sitting and waiting in traffic. Well, some cars are using it to uh, get in, but what about... There we go. There are some cars leaving that way. So this is a little bit of a weird formation, and I wouldn't normally want to have um, two roundabout exits that close to each other. And actually, the roundabout is jamming up right now here. It appears to be because pedestrians... So you know what? Let's um, get rid of all of the stuff that's in here. Let's not get pedestrians anywhere to go to. And then we're going to properly build out this commercial district. So let's pop this road out. And that road out. And there, now you have oodles of room for activities. Go to our pipes. Covered, and we're probably running out of electricity. Yeah, <laughs> right on the edge there. Um, our budget's holding, though. Our budget is holding, and we have a nice positive income. I have been fiddling with the um, budget sliders, but I think we're fine right now. Now at this point, if we look at our pollution map mode, we can see our houses are just starting to touch the polluted area. So I don't want to actually build this down any further, and if I build it down further anyway, I'm not going to be able to have good access to the traffic circle. So I think it's time to um, build out a residential area over here. So maybe we'll do something like this. Will that work? Can I... Uh, yeah, it comes just short. Well, this is actually okay. We can do that, and then from here, we can have a road coming down. Huh, I guess I mm, somehow screwed up the spacing a little bit. Yes, I see exactly what I did. There we go. That's the right spacing. Wasted a little bit of money there, but because I didn't unpause, um, it's okay. That is one complex intersection. And I may as well actually connect this over here. There's no harm done. This one, though, I am just definitely going to leave hanging. All right, so let's go back to commercial here. Paint bucket in. A little more commercial. And let's slap down our first block of residential right there. And we haven't done pipes here yet, so let's take care of that. Electricity is okay for the moment. Uh, traffic circle's jamming up badly. Tell you what, um, let's definitely give these guys their own direct access to the highway. That should take a load off. And what I also have sometimes done, uh, this will be a little expensive at this point of the game. Um, oh, can I? Hey, how's this going to work? Yeah, this does work. It didn't even make a um, signal. So now trucks can come straight in here and uh, they can leave. Okay, so that should take some pressure off of the traffic circle. That's the whole purpose of what we just did. And okay, we no longer have enough water. So let's go to our budget tab. Crank that up to 100. And yeah, good. We have oodles now. So when I dam this up, I'm going to have to do it um, upstream of my town. But presumably that'll be okay. Um, I don't know what this full map looks like. But yeah, we're probably going to be grabbing land further and further upstream. Although, you know what? If I grab um, this land here, that means we're going to have to start building from this highway. Uh, we could make a bridge across the river. That would be okay. 
to, uh, you know, connect our cities. So, tons of residential demand I haven't painted in the rest of my residential plots, so let's do that. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, actually, a fair bit of industrial demand, I guess. Mm. Yeah, we can actually use this land right here. This will work. Because, like, what you don't want to do, for example, is zone this as industrial, because then whenever people go to visit it, suddenly they're stuck and they have to leave town. There's no way for them to uh, make a U-turn. Okay, so we have buses now, I think. Okay, this unlocked a million things. Bus lanes, yes. Cemetery, so people are going to start dying. Advanced wind turbine, that's excellent for this map. Taxi depot, bus depot. Recycling, yada, 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 yada. Um, we have a lot of money, but our income is actually not that great. And our electricity consumption is fine. So I should stick down a cemetery somewhere. Um, trying to decide if I want to stick a cemetery over here. I guess that's fine. I mean, it doesn't cause pollution or anything, and I don't see myself ripping up this uh, this area anytime soon. Let's uh, get the speed back up. Uh, how's our landfill doing? 11% full, so that's great. We still haven't built a high school. We should probably do that. So I could plop one down. Oh, this is a lot bigger than it used to be, I think. They didn't used to be big squares. Or no, maybe it's just because it's a European-style um, map. God, where do I want to even put you? Somewhere in here would be nice if I actually had room... Um... Yeah, like, that would work. It would... Um break a couple of our industrial buildings. But we still have plenty of room to um, build this out further. So industrial... Yes, okay, consumption has definitely outstripped production at this point. Uh, you'll get the 420 megawatts, that's excellent. Well, it's actually 19 at the shore there. Uh, there's a 20. I'm just trying to make this as efficient as I can. I wonder if these stop working um, after you dam up the river and the water level drops. That's very plausible that that might be the case. There's the sun. It's quite pretty. It's a really um, powerful river. I wonder if they changed the way that uh, water sources work. Because I always have great difficulty trying to make powerful rivers. Uh, okay, so here's our traffic mode. Actually, this looks beautiful. I mean, a few places um, where a lot of vehicles meet. Oh, people are still crossing the street for some reason here. Why would they be doing that? And then they just cross right back over there. Huh. That is very strange. So you see what's happening. Um, people are walking down this sidewalk, crossing the street here, walking that far, and then crossing the street back up. I mean... If you're going the whole way around the roundabout, that's more efficient, sure. But if you're just going that far, surely that's less efficient than just walking straight left to right across. I don't see anyone walking left to right, or sorry, right to left across this intersection. Plenty are going left to right. So I think this is just glitched AI here. But 
But that's bad. Um, and I don't have any mods to turn to right now, To Let's, um... I, I can't even think of how to fix this. How do I force the AI to figure itself out again? Well, I could destroy this for a moment. I think that might be the most effective thing to do. So now we'll give those vehicles a chance to do their thing. All right, now we'll rebuild that and hopefully it'll work better this time. And we lost some zoning here. Alright, people are cross. No, this guy's still being weird. I don't know. Normally, I love pedestrians, but it's actually really um, not good that the pedestrians are crossing this a lot. It's. Um... Well, one thing I could do is turn this into a highway. Alright, um, no, let's not delete the beer garden, we're just gonna have to move it. Put it right next to the high school. Right where it belongs. Alright, let's, uh, keep this up. Although, actually, just that is enough to fix, I think, just about all the pedestrian issues. Because now the pedestrians can no longer cross at the highway. So they have to cross laterally instead of, um going through the roundabout. Although, traffic is still stopping there. I'm not sure what causes that, but I've noticed it before. Traffic will flow freely, and then all of a sudden they'll start doing start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, as if they have a stop sign. But yeah, no, okay, so now they're not stopping, so it is a mystery. I may as well continue upgrading it the whole way around. Yeah, that works. Alright, we have lots of demands for stuff. Um, plenty of room in both of these still. I think it might be time to buy another square. No, I changed my mind. Let's um, grab this and we'll build this out. And we're going to avoid having other intersections. Um, so in other words, this will just kind of be an artery to let vehicles get down this way a little faster. Uh, and then at the end of it, we'll have... Um, some more roads of this type. So hold on, that's... Yeah, that, I thought that was the case. Yeah, so we have to make, take it one... Uh, I did it too. One tick further than the normal block marker to get that. Maybe I don't want to do that though. Maybe I want to continue this block over here. And then we'll just kind of stick something in here um, as a dead end. All right, lots of room for activities here. Um, we could... connect this to that. And have this be another pretty good artery, um, maybe with one road coming out roughly in the middle. Actually, no, no, no. Um, Let's use this as a guide. So something like that, and then we'll use this as a guide. And then you guys connect like that. There we go, this will be beautiful. Okay, so now... 
Let's uh, take you over a block. And down. You over a block. And down. You over a block. And down. Connect you there. Connect you here. And connect you here. And connect you here. That should do it. So then um, we should have a strip of commercial buildings. So like a bunch of this can be industry down here. Um, let's call that commercial and we'll call this commercial minus this blob. All of you will be residential. Actually, let's just marquee this. There, that worked better. That strip of commercial. Um, let's have a strip of commercial here. So we want to have that buffer between commercial and industrial. And then uh, this can be a gigantic industrial area. So this is a very large expansion. We have the money for it, and we have the demand for it. So uh, that's what we are going to do.